All right, everyone, welcome back to Joe Man's Land. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today, we're going to be talking all about the Nikon Z8. Is it real? Is it going to happen? What is my opinion on this camera, even though I'm not really a well-known photographer? You guys don't care. I don't care about my opinion, but I'm going to share it anyways. So let's get into the nitty gritty about this new camera that's hopefully going to be coming out. Again, Nikon hasn't officially released any information on this camera yet. So let's go to Nikon rumors. Nikon rumors z8 again cannot stress this enough i'm not saying that this is going to happen i'm saying it might happen which are two completely different things all right here we go we're going to the nikon z8 archives here we go click on this bad boy all right here we go let's get down to what people are thinking this camera might actually feature so it's rumored that it will be a 61 megapixel full frame RBSI CMOS web. I don't cover that. 61 megapixels would be crazy. And like that, that would be really great for photographers. I want to recrop. So that would be exciting. Um, the processor, it looks like it, they're thinking, oh, thank you, Mike. They're thinking it'd be the same processor that's in the uh, Z9, which is awesome because that's really the thing that limits the Z6, Z7, Z62, Z72, even with updates, is the processor isn't what's in the Z9. So if you're looking for better autofocus, you're really not going to get it until you get a Z9, so hopefully the Z8 carries that over. I'm a video guy, you all know this, and uh, it's, it looks like they're going to be offering 8K up to 24 frames. That's awesome. You know, I still edit in 4K, so if I wanted to reframe, I'd shoot in 8, you could reframe with that. The thing I like about all this is it's all 10-bit. Um, if you have a Z6 and you want to get that 10-bit uh, add-on, you have to send it in the factory. They charge you 200 bucks. Then you can do 10-bit internal only up to 4K 30. Or if you use a Atmos Ninja, you can do 4K 10-bit uh, external. So that's really cool that it does, that they're thinking it will do um, 8K up to 24 frames in 10-bit. And, oh, this is nice, 4K 16 bit oh man that would be so nice with s log all right that that would be really nice that's probably what i would sh i would elect to shoot in the most um 10 frames per second shooting that's pretty normal and then okay i like this the eight stop five axis image stabilization that would be a really nice upgrade from the current ibis that's in the uh, at least that, that i'm using in the z6 so that's uh pretty good all right so the best spot to shoot an outro for uh a video about a camera is on a swing and then park on top of a parkade. You guys have been here with me before. We're going to do it one more time. So my final thoughts on the potential Z8. Depending on the price, I think it's going to be amazing. And it's going to be really great to hopefully see some of that awesome, awesome tech that's in the Z9 trickle down in to the Z8. You know, no matter how many firmware updates come out, the autofocus on the Z6, Z7, Z62, Z72 is always going to be limited. And I'm really hoping that with the z8 that we get to see some of that tech in it and also with the price point i'm hoping it's right around three four thousand dollars if they keep it right around that price point it's going to be extremely competitive and something a lot of potential photographers will be wanting i think the thing that's going to make the z8 the, one of the best cameras in the market is the hybrid capabilities if you have a 61 megapixel sensor with an 8k readout in 24 frames per second at eight stops of um stabilization that would be epic it'd be so good but uh yeah i think We'll leave this video here. Um, good spot to shoot to if I got, nope, nope, we gotta go this way to get the tower. There, nope, yeah, there's the Calgary Tower. Right there, thumbnail. Tell me in the comments below what you guys think the Z8 will be. What camera would you like to see come out this year from Nikon? Are you looking for another ZFC rehouse with different paint or would you like to see an actual new camera? And also with Nikon marketing, um, I think there's a lot of things they could be doing. The Canon Creator Lab is epic. They're not really doing anything like that. So I'd love to see Nikon do that. But you know, comment below, what camera are you looking for? What would you like to see Nikon do in 2023? In the meantime, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Remember to take beautiful photos every single day. Don't do it for the views, do it for yourself. Also guys, tell me what you think. I'm uh, vlogging right now at 60 frames in 4k is this something you guys like me to do more i usually shoot in 24 just to get that motion blur but i thought you know light enough out that i could get away with uh shooting in 60 frames instead